gone to Duke. You've gone to the Saints here in New Orleans. Now, with me being in Louisiana, there's one more game I know I had to go to. Yep, you guessed it. Going to LSU. I made sure this time to have some actual apparel on supporting the team. If I happen to wear the color of the opposing team, you never know what happens at um, the Saints game. I may or may not have gotten some liquid poured on me inadvertently because I had on a blue polo, as you could see. <laughs> being the day after Black Friday, this worked out perfectly. Got this on sale. We're going to see what happens at this game. I had a list of people I was going to go with, but guess what? What's the day after Black Friday, right? Well, that's two days after Thanksgiving, so people are gone home for break. And also, some people that I do know that stayed in here that I met, they're actually going to the game too. And I was able to actually link up with someone and go with him and some of his buddies. But then he had some crazy story where now he wasn't able to go, and now it's a few hours to game time, and I thought, all right, listen, like, <laughs> am I gonna awkwardly go again? I think so. I'm just gonna enjoy it, man, because this is gonna be Coach Orgeron's last game. We'll see you in Baton Rouge. I have no idea where I'm at, but you know, we had to find some free parking. We're about a 20 minute walk away, a little over a mile from the stadium, but we're gonna go in, we're gonna enjoy it, and we'll see what happens. Instead of parking by the church, and it got full where people just parked in front. There was no attendance, so you know, I just tried to squeeze my way in there, just saw where my car's at. Got a little bit of a walk, so I decided to do some research, right? Louisiana State University, known as LSU, was founded in 1853. Said originally in Pineville, Louisiana is where it was located. Now obviously in Baton Rouge. In 2020, the enrollment was just under 35,000. I never would have thought that with all the people they have that can fit inside their stadium, but I'm sure it's gonna keep going up. And then as you can see with like universities like Clemson, where when they have success with their football teams, then the enrollment goes up as well. Cause a lot of people, even if they're not gonna play football there, they wanna watch a successful football team, right? be able to travel to different places and stuff to wash their team. So, there were a few nights, you know, one in college where I was like the designated driver or something like that. And like, it, it feels kind of, it feels different when like, you're surrounded by a bunch of people who are under the influence and you yourself are not because obviously you're the responsible and designated driver. So that's the uh, kind of vibes I'm getting right now with this. Thank you. 
free food. And oh, I missed yeah, out. Always good stuff. Take it on the car. Had to walk like a mile and a half, so three miles total there and back round trip. But listen, 
total experience, honestly, I'd say it's like a nine out of 10. And honestly, I think if I tailgated, it'd be a 10 out of 10, but this was a ton of fun, man. Definitely recommend coming back and something to do if you haven't yet. Still saved that money, didn't spend a dollar. We just walked everywhere, free parking, free tickets. Shout out to my guy, Matt with LSU. And that's a wrap. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content. We'll see you around. <laughs>